Giving back to the community, several volunteers and Browns players pulled out their toolbox to encourage kids to read. As part of their Get to School, You Can Make It program, Tyrod Taylor, Emmanuel Ogbal, Joel Batanio, and Christian Kirk, so you can tell I don't work in sports. They help put together rocking chairs for CMSD classrooms. The hope is that the chairs will give the kids a comfortable place and it will also encourage them to read. It's really cool that at the end of the day there's going to be something tangible that's going to be, reach children in the school district that we normally wouldn't be able to see or meet, but we know that we're having an impact. And let's keep talking about the Browns because the head coach, Hugh Jackson, finally kept his word after he, the, finish, the Browns finished winless last season. We know it was dismal. Let's not even talk about the numbers. Well, he kept his promise. He ran into Lake Erie this afternoon and he said it was cold. Uh, I don't like it, don't like to do it for the reason why I'm having to do it, but I have to make do on my word. And I made a statement, I got to back it up. And back it up he did. He, along with many of his colleagues for the team, joined him for a dip in the lake from Huntington Beach and Bay Village. And of course he did it when the temps were perfect for it. It wasn't in the dead of winter, but he says he is considering this a preseason cleansing. Uh, the pages turn, and as you can see, it's not just me, it's our organization. They, they are the reason why I do what I do, and our players, and our fans. Uh, and I know our fans, like I said, have been very disappointed. I get it, but that page is closed. Jackson took the opportunity and to help better the community. For every Browns employee who joined Jackson, he personally donated $100 to his foundation. The Hugh Jackson Foundation works to combat human trafficking across Northeast Ohio. Actually, it was just a really good thing to do. Who knows? He may do it every year, whether we're <laughs> winless or not. Seems like just a great unifying thing. Everybody came out together. And uh, yeah, he's a man of his word. Yeah, that's I, right. I love it. And so we're starting over. We have faith in the Browns here. Yes, we do. So. We're going to have a winning season. A winning season. That's the word we want winning.